I'm Austin Oak Mission, Alaska. I'm here uh, Riverside giving a few hot tips for the backcountry. And today I have uh, a little tip on uh, keeping your GoPro and your cameras rolling and kind of camera selection. Uh, so basically I like to roll with the GoPro. I've got a GoPro 6 here and it seems like every single time I buy a GoPro, they come out with a new one the next week. Kind of frustrating, but it's all good. Bottom line is uh, the best camera is the one that you have on you. So I found myself in searching I found myself in certain situations where um, I scratched a GoPro screen and that just really just just chapped my booty big time, just chapped my ass. Uh, so what I do for the GoPro is I just have a little koozie here and I'll throw that koozie over it and I like to use high vis like orange or something like that. Um, just so happen to have this guy lying around and basically I'll throw that in my pocket so it doesn't get scratched if it falls off my head. Um, it doesn't uh, fall in the, in the shale slides and, and kind of ruin my, my shot, so to speak. Is the scratch on that lens is, um, is not very good. Uh, so basically what I do is when I'm on the stock, I'll keep this usually on my head and get ready to roll when something's getting ready to happen. It's kind of like a backup for a kill shot. And just another cool perspective when you're pulling up your rifle and it's just going down the barrel. It looks, looks sweet, right? So um, in Alaska, it gets pretty cold, so I have a problem keeping the GoPros running. So I'll keep an extra battery on the inside of my pocket here, and then I keep this close to my body. So unless I'm on the stock or something very important is about to happen, I won't pull it out. I pull it out for a few shots here and there and that's really it and I try to save that juice and that battery for when it really counts. Uh, the other thing is, I mean I've been on the stock, what the heck, my batteries are dead, it's cold. My cell phone is usually good for about four minutes in the cold. So my one tip is, a lot of people don't know, but these iPhones um, are, are used for a lot of television shows, for behind the scenes um, and for Instagram, social media. So. The only thing you do is instead of f filming vertically, unless you're filming for IGTV or something like that, just turn that phone sideways, go to video, and uh, start recording. Pretty simple. They've got a pretty powerful zoom on there, which is cool. And they've got things like slow mo and then also time lapse features. So you've got a lot of tools right here. And you can make a sweet short film just using iPhones. And uh, Here's a little hot tip and a little secret. I have used short films where I filmed it all with an iPhone, especially on hunts where I know that we're gonna be wet, cold, and the potential for breaking a more expensive camera is um, high, the, the risk is high. So I'll bring a cell phone, throw that in my pocket, throw that in a Ziploc baggie and call it good. My camera, you can see, is this year, instead of using a DSLR, I'm using this little, using this little Sony Handycam, right? And one way to make those iPhones stable is hold and kind of put some pressure and forward pressure uh, right there and keep it kind of close to your body. Um, that's what I do. I was just shaking all over the place and now it's steady. So I use this Sony Handycam, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna step out right here. Uh, that little sheen, I don't like this sheen, so I'll have to put a little piece of tape over this because that'll that's a dead giveaway. Same with this rim. So I use this little setup. I got more tripod than needed. Um, but uh, it's a sweet little setup for my spot and scope and my camera as well. So those are my hot tips. Keep that GoPro in your pocket. Always keep that cell phone. Turn it sideways if you want it to match up with your footage. And also it doesn't take a lot to, to get out there and film your own hunts. I mean, you could pick up one of these Sony Handycams for a thousand to two thousand bucks. They've got, you know, 20 times optical zoom. It's HD. It shoots in 4K if you want to do that. Uh, and it's got some other cool features. It just all boils down to how much you want to edit. So there's my hot tips for camera selection, how to keep that GoPro rolling, and how to protect your gear so you can have some longevity of your GoPro. For more tips, for more information, you can check out missionak.com or you can follow along at the uh, Live the Legend Winchester blog at winchester.com. Hunt hard. Get out there. Have fun.